I give you this vagina cream so you can rub it on your snatch because you're all cunts. If you don't think you can fuck all night, by God, you can't fuck all night. At least one of you is a fucking mistake. Dan Pena, the trillion dollar man, aka the $50 billion man, has an average net worth of $500 million. However, this can't be verified by even a somewhat reliable source. But we do know he had at least enough money to buy Guthrie Castle for around $30 million, maintain a fleet of expensive cars, and own enough suits to be the modern embodiment of the Monopoly man. I should also mention that he used to hire out his castle for weddings and private events. However, in 2017, the man who was responsible for organizing all of these events scammed a £130,000 out of customers, which Dan Penner paid back to the brides and grooms out of his own pocket. So that's nice. But more often than not, he loves to take a tough love approach because after making his millions from being an early investor in a natural resources company, he started QLA, Quantum Leap Advantage, which is one of these money-making coaching courses. Now, whenever someone promises they can make you a millionaire, the first question that always comes up is, who have you made a millionaire? And unlike the other 90% of financial guru, leader, scam, pyramid schemes, allegedly, out there, Dan Pina actually has quite a few millionaires under his belt. Now, aside from a few books you can get online, he mainly makes his money by people attending his week-long retreat at his castle for which the entrance fee is $25,000, in which he promises he will make you a millionaire. But speaking of the millionaires he's made, they include Dan Locke, who makes his millions selling teaching courses to people wanting to make millions, Bruce Whipple, who made his millions selling teaching courses to people wanting to make millions, Thelma Box, who made her millions selling teaching courses to people wanting to make millions, Jason Capital, whose name is basically Chasing Capital. He made his name, Give Me Money. And he made his millions selling teaching courses to people wanting to make millions. And Ron Legrand, who didn't make his millions selling teaching courses to people wanting to make millions. He made his millions in housing from 1980 to 2008 during the biggest housing boom in the history of the entire universe, and now that housing is all dried up and there's very little money to be made, if any, he makes his more million-selling teaching courses to people wanting to make millions. Also, there was one guy, I forgot his name, but he's somewhat successful as an AliExpress dropshipper. Now... I'm not saying this is just a pyramid scheme of bullshit. But he does upload quite a few of these lectures online. So let's have a look for ourselves and see if he's legitimate or just full of shit. And hey, if he's not, maybe by the end of the video, a couple of you guys will also be millionaires. I give you this vagina cream so you can rub it on your snatch because you're all cunts. That's not a good start. And everybody you know is a cunt. Don't you understand that? Uh, you should blow your fucking brains out. Now, I'm not suggesting anybody kill anybody. I'm just speaking metaphorically speaking, of course, because I wouldn't want anybody. Oh, okay. So that's good. So he's not actually telling you to blow your brains out, right? It's just a metaphor. He's metaphorically. Anyway, let's continue. I wouldn't want anybody. Fuck you. Not everybody deserves to be alive. Okay, maybe not. But also... He does have a little bit of a point, doesn't he? You fucking retard! You think it's funny. It's not fucking funny. Why would anybody be inspired by you fucking spineless cunts? Motivational speaking. Anyway, there's got to be some good advice in here. Let's, let's find out. If you don't think you can fuck all night, by God, you can't fuck all night! Well, there you go. There's some helpful advice. If you don't think you can fuck all night, then by God, you can't fuck all night. Now, this would be a great plug for some erectile dysfunction medication or some Stay Longer cream. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them right now. Maybe just jerk one off before you go have sex and you can last a bit longer. You sorry, fucking Mexican cunt! Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's up with the Mexican slang. You fucking Mexican wetback! That's not easy enough, is it? That's worse. What are you, stupid? You stupid cunts! I feel like that's a rhetorical question. 
probably not meant to answer that. It should have been a miscarriage. It's amazing you know how to wipe your own fucking ass. The only reason you know how to wipe your ass is because your parents got embarrassed because the shit rolled down your leg. Most of the teachings you got as kids is because you were an embarrassment to them. I mean, yeah, not having shit roll down your leg is good. Not exactly sure where it's going here or how this is going to make me millions, but I don't have shit rolling down my leg. So there's a win. At least one of you is a fucking mistake. Again, statistically, it's not wrong. You're fucking sorry, vaginas. You dwarf midget. And the reason you're here, you snowflake cunt, is because nobody treated you like shit. You fucking reach hard. Now think about that. I don't think too hard because you don't have any that many brain cells. You should have rolled down room, down that fat fucking thigh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did he just call my mother fat? Did he just call my mother fat? Let's see if he can justify this. And I can say that because when you're pregnant, all women have fat thighs. I mean, that's fair. All women do naturally gain a bit of weight during pregnancy, which, okay, okay. He's redeemed himself for now. Let's just hope it doesn't get worse. It's not just because you're fat. They got fat thighs. It's, and some of your moms gained 60, 80 pounds, 40 fucking kilos. Jesus Christ. I feel like that was unnecessary. You know what? Let's just continue. Fucking sickening. Are you done? Are you done now? I hope you're done. I hope he's done. Is he done? They look like fucking Volkswagens. No, he's not done. Okay. Are you done now? <laughs> you know, they look like rhinos. And nobody likes to gain weight like a, a Latino. Jesus Christ, man. Have you not heard of PC? Come on. I mean, clearly not. But try a little bit. Anyway, I do want to be a millionaire, so let, let's continue. What am I going to do with it? I'm going to rip your fucking head off and shit down your neck, you little cunt. Is that like a money-making strategy or motivation? Or, I, I just, I'm just looking for the correlation here. You know, that's all. What am I going to do with the cricket bat? I'm going to split your motherfucking head open and shit down your neck. Again, with the cricket bat and the shitting. I'd rather you not, if I'm being honest here. You're going to take responsibility, you fucking weenie cunts. You might as well burn the 25 grand in the fireplace. Asians are problems. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't say Asians are problems. Let's see him talk himself out of this one. But the bottom line is everybody's a problem. Again, everybody is a problem. Have you seen people? Most of them are problems. Do me a favor, fat ass. Do you know anybody with any balls whatsoever? Yes, I do. Do you know any real men? I do. My dad was a real man. He was. He was a great man. No, the answer is no. Oh, fuck, sorry. Are you cunts? Weed smoking, fucking pothead, earring, fucking nose, asshole, cunt. I call him rapist murder. He wasn't that, but it's, it's, that makes the story sound better now because he's been dead 30, 40 years. Because <laughs> you're a cunt and you don't want to be a cunt anymore. When you open your mouth is when you step on your dick. How big's your dick? Ow. 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 If your like, erection is up to here, and then you... That would just get in the way. Easy to suck your own dick, but probably not ideal. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out, fuck face. Ah... <sighs> uh.